Rod. Nice. Hi, I'm Scott Shields. I'm the head men's and women's cross country coach here at Whitman College, and I've got two of my amazing runners standing here with me. Uh, we're going to fill up some halftime time, and I've uh, got a few questions for them. So first, I'd like you guys to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Emily Williams. I'm a senior environmental studies politics major. Um, I'm Ellie Patterson. I'm a senior biology major from San Francisco Bay Area. Thanks. Emily, where are you from? I'm from Saratoga, California. <laughs> I love this headset, don't you? <laughs> nice. Well, we've had an amazing season this year. Both our teams finished third in our conference with another strong showing. Um, but we're going to take some time right now to talk about a really special event we've been doing. Um, and these two are here with me today because they are the ones who are instrumental in this year's success of the event. Uh, it's an event we call Who Do You Run For? And it's, uh, it's a cancer awareness 24-hour run that we do here on campus. So, uh, Emily, I'm going to ask you the first question. So, why did... How did the event ever come to be? Okay, so two years ago, um, a group of senior runners um, started this event because um, one of our runners' mothers was diagnosed with cancer. Um, and for many people on our team, running has been a way that we um, have coped with hardship and loss. And um, the cross-country team is an incredible family for us. Um, so Who Do You Run For was started as a way for us to come together and celebrate the people who we love who have been affected by cancer and to bring together the Walla Walla and Whitman communities in this 24-hour um, run. Nice. So since it's a 24-hour run, Ellie, can you just kind of break down what it looks like? Yeah. Um, we are centered on Ankeny, which is a field on campus, and we have runners running for the whole 24 hours in a relay style. Um, so we have different cross-country team members sign up, and we're running all night um, from noon to noon. Um, and we encourage people from the school and people from the community to come out and join us. Um, and we run with name tags for the people that we have, that we love, that we run for, that have had cancer. And it's yeah, it's been a really cool event on campus. We play music, and people get really excited about it. Nice, and uh, so we do a little bit of fundraising with the event, and so how much money do we able to fundraise this year? This year we raised $1,254 for the uh, Melanoma Research Foundation, which is the biggest organization in the United States for melanoma research and treatment. Nice, wonderful, and then how much did we run? We run, ran 1,688 laps, um, which comes out to be about 550 miles. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. And that's all the runners, not just the cross-country team. So anybody who came out to the run would run around our quad fields called Ankeny. Um, we would ask them to record how many times they ran around, whether it was one lap that they walked, jogged, um, or as many as I think some people. What was the biggest total someone uh, ran? I know Michael Gordon, our assistant coach, ran 46 laps. Which was a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Most people ran like, you know, 20 ish yeah. or less or however much they wanted. It was great. So, Emily, what were the most popular and least popular times uh, of, of the day to run? Well, surprisingly, people really at Whitman really like to run in the middle of the night. I'd say from 10 p.m. to midnight was actually a really popular time for community members, especially. We saw a lot of people out there running around the field um, all through the evening. Though I'd say the least popular, probably 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. People tend to like to sleep during those hours. <laughs> but we were still out there. We were still out there, We were still sure. out there. It was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so that's a lot about the event. And uh, is there anything else uh, you guys want to add about the event? Maybe the, where people could potentially go and look for the sites or Facebook or uh, yeah, we have a Facebook event. You could just search who do you run for, I guess. Um, there are also a few articles written about it on the Pioneer. They wrote an article um, that kind of explains what we did and what we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. And like we said, this is the third year for the event. I think altogether we're around $8,000 total for the last three years. So it's yeah. been pretty amazing. Yeah. And pretty supportive community here at Whitman College. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.